Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers, welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey by subscribing. Give it those thumbs up if you like the video. Feel free to ask any questions or any suggestions. Follow me on Instagram. Send me your uh, pictures for the people that are creating my pieces so I can make a video with your pictures your creations on video for the world to see and I want to thank every single one of you for being part of this journey with me the people that have been with me from the start I humbly thank you so much for the newcomers I humbly thank you so much also so thank you so much everybody um, we are going to create an, uh, these granny squares now this granny square is similar very, very similar to the last top I just did, which is the blouse for my mother, the blouse Maria. If you look into that tutorial, you will see it's pretty much the same design and same, um, almost looks like Margarita's sunflower, if you want to call it. And of course, if you had added, you know, like the brown here on the center and then the yellow or brown and white, it would have been a sunflower or a margarita. But the difference is with uh, the blouse for my mother, I did the top part in squares and the rest was the V-stitch. This one, I'm going to do it all squares. I have been asked to do it all squares because people still having a hard time to putting on all the squares, especially when it comes to the arms and the other underarm pit. So I'm going to create that. And this is a baby, very light blue. Um in one color, you know, it stands out all the pattern with my mother's uh, blouse that I did, the blouse Maria. Uh, it's a multicolored yellow turquoise blue uh, up top on the squares. And then I did the yellow and the bottom with the V uh, stitch. Of course, with the beginning, the other one, it's a half double crochet. This is a full double crochet. The other one in the middle had 36 double crochets. This only has 16. Um, also here, the other one is created with triple. This is double triple. So uh, there's a slight difference between them, but very similar pattern. But of course, this one's going to show more because it will be all squares and not just, you know, two rows of squares. And the other um, three quarters of the blouse is all V from the chest area down to the hips. So this will be, um, I'm hoping, this is going to be like um, a full medium to a large. Uh, so people can be comfortable in it. I usually like to make uh, the full medium to a large because people have different sizes of medium. You could be a small medium or a medium medium or a medium beginning of large. So I like to have this in between that fits that medium person, but also fits the large person. Now, of course, uh, doing uh, tops, blouses, whatever you want to call it with a granny square or even the round ones, like I'll show you here. That I had started. This will probably be for another tutorial. It's the same one, but it's round. It's not square, as you can see there. Okay, I don't know if you can see it well, but this one is a round one. Same pattern, but round, not square. This one's a square. Okay, so um, because a lot of people use these type of granny squares for a different project, I usually don't create them together with the blouse. I leave the squares by itself for people to create whatever they like, they wish um, with the granny square. So this will be video one, let's say. And then when I really start with the Tori of the blouse, which will be right after this, if you want to follow me into that one, uh, will be then video two. But sometimes I, I get lost when I'm doing the actual video two. Um, I, I actually, when I'm doing video three, I keep saying video two because I'm thinking of this one as video one. But uh, normally at the beginning, I don't put it up as part one because I let it, you know, fly a little bit with no part one. People don't get confused. And then when I'm creating the blouse, then I'll go back and add it on the title and put part one just so people can know that they can follow 
the this square to the blouse. So it will be a tunic uh, lace blouse, of course. They will be all squares. And you know that um, you can go the size you like by keep adding the squares. But that I will explain as I'm doing the tutorial on the blouse. For this, we'll just leave it as the square. And of course, when I will create the blouse, I will link this down in the description box because you will have to start by the granny square, obviously, to build up for the... Uh, for the um, blouse. Okay, so I use 100% cotton thread. This is a four ply hook number three. This is Portuguese thread, by the way, people. Um, in your area, I'm sure you could probably get at Michael's Hobby Lobbies, or if you're in big cities, you can probably go into. If there's a Portuguese store, you probably can get it through them, or an Italian store. They usually carry nice thread also, but, you know, I'm sure you can find it. Like I said, Michael's uh, Hobby Lobby and all that. So a little uh, hook to tuck in, loose ends, and, of course, a pair of scissors. This is 12 centimeters square. So we're going to get started, people. Thank you so much again, everyone. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do slip stitch knot and chain eight one we don't count the slip stitch knot as a chain okay only when we do the first chain we start counting so this is two three four five six seven eight up top there's three little buttons on the right side three little dots you can click there slow down the video to your liking in case I'm too fast for you. So, and always watch the video up ahead before you create anything because mistakes can happen and we can correct them. Sometimes you're, you're just pausing and continuing and I could make a mistake. And usually I don't take the mistake down. I show you when I make a mistake because this way you can see I also can make mistakes and we correct them together. So we come on the first one, we do a slip stitch. chain three actually uh, yeah chain three and inside of this ring we're doing 15 more so we're gonna have a total of 16 double crochet trying to hide my thread at the same time So do your 16 double crochet and I'll meet you at the end. So we've done our 16 double crochet. We're going to come on the third space up here, close it in, slip stitch. And just try to fix it a bit, you know, because the ring is quite big, but we want it big. We wanted to give it enough space for it. Now we're going to do chain four, two, three, and four. Now double, triple. On the same space, we're going to do an incomplete double triple crochet. And that will be three times. So we're going to have three double triple crochet incomplete. And close it at once. And of course, I made a mistake here. Not that I made a mistake, but I didn't pull it properly. Don't you love that? Okay, work to my advantage, that's fine. So now that we've closed in, we're going to do um, chain one, two, and three. And again, the double triple, next space right after. We're doing the same thing, three incomplete double triple crochet. We're doing this per each space all the way around. So that means you're going to have 16 groups of three double triple crochets exactly like we have on here so we have one um, group per space so you're going to have 16 of them same thing as the double crochet underneath okay so very simple nothing to it again one two and three 
And we're going to do the double triple again. Next space, we're going to do the incomplete. And again, another double triple incomplete. Like that. Chain three again. And we're going to continue to do it. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished doing my 16 groups. And I'm going to do only one chain here. It's a little trick to get you to in the center of your chain. So you do one chain. You are going to come on the very first one here at the edge. As if you were closing in, but you're not closing. You're doing a uh, double crochet here. So you become right on the center of, of your chain. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Because now we are on row, um, row three. That's one, two, and now row three. And six chain again. So this whole row all the way around is six chains only. Just like that. So you continue to do it. And then you're going to come and well, I'll meet you at the end. To show you again the little trick because we're going to the next row up. Okay, so we need one more to close up. What we're going to do is chain three. We're going to come on our first one here to close it up. And we're going to do a long crochet if you want to call it. I don't know what you call it. A long crochet because we're not taking out by twos. We're taking out by one. So, and here we're going to do again one, two, three, and four. Now, this time up here, we're only doing triple crochet incomplete. This is the first corner of the square, and we take it out one, two, three, and four, and again, we're going to create three triple crochet incomplete building our first corner just like that and now six again two three four five six chain come back into the center with a single and then again one two three four five and six come back into the center one two three four five and six and into the center again so we have one two three one two three four five and six now we're going to start to do our triple we're going to start to create the other corner so you're going to have one two three four space before when you're creating a fourth space you're doing already your triple crochet and complete okay and chain four and again triple crochet and complete so we're building uh, the second corner of our granny square. One, two, three, and four. And again, chain six. Now you need to uh, create again three loops. And on your fourth one, you build the third corner. One, two, three, four. Five, six, so this is our second loop, one, two, 
three, four, five, six. This is our third loop. And now we're going to create the fourth. One, two, three, and four, five, six. That means we are creating the third corner with the triple and complete crochet. Four chain and my hand slip because my hands are stretched out for the camera for you guys to see. And it happens quite often because it's kind of hard to crochet with your arms stretched out. And close it up. And again, chain six. And close it up with single. And again. So now you got the two. And three, we're going into our fourth. That means we got to create our triple. to finish the fourth corner to a four chain and three triple crochet and complete. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So on our last one, we'd come up top and just close it in, cut your thread, and you're pretty much done your square. How beautiful is that? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now for the people that are going to continue um, to create the blouse with me, I'm going to show you the next step because obviously this link is going to go on the video for the blouse, okay? Now, I'm going to um, take it down like two rows to add on here. So let's say people that are doing a blouse or just people that are creating something different, but you want to know how to attach it on, right? So very simple. For the people that are creating the blouse, once you have your measurement, like in my medium uh, to uh, large, I have four squares. It's good enough shoulder to shoulder from my size, okay? I'm just, you know, letting you know because some people will be creating this uh, pattern for the blouse. But even though for the ones that are not and using this pattern for other purposes. So once you have your third uh, corner, creating a third corner, chain two. You'd come corner to corner, to corner back to back. And two more chains. So you have your four already. Come back, create your triple and complete like that and one two three because we need to attach so we're not going to do six close it with single one two three and we went directly to the back part the loop in the back and now the loop in the front and it's always back and forth three chain into the back, one, two, three chain, two, 
into the front, one, two, and three, into the back, one, two, and three, into the front, one, two, and three. Of course, you're going to have your four, um, you're going to have your four um, space of chains anyway. Remember, one, two, and three. Now, so you have your four attachments the same, one, two, three, and four, and Let me see if this is right. So you'd come down. Oh, hold on a second. Give me a second here to confirm this to make sure. Yes, I was right. So you, you're on your fourth. Okay, so let's recap that again. So you have your one, one, two, three, four. Now we need to come and do our um, triple once we're coming down. So we can attach corner to corner here on this one. So we've done our triple. Two chain. Now we're going to come in the center where we have the other groups here. Close it up with a single. Come back to finish our triple. And we close it up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Because we are not attaching anything to it right now. We're just finishing the running square. Two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to come right on our first one and close it up and cut our thread and tuck in. So, Isn't that beautiful? So now imagine the other one here. So you're going to have this beautiful motive right here with all the sunflower margaritas, if you want to call it. So this does it for this tutorial. Follow me on the next one for the top. And I thank you so much to every single one of you. Please give a thumbs up to the video. And for the people that are creating my pieces that have not subscribed yet, let's say like India, Malaysia, Indonesia, a lot of you are creating my pieces and you haven't subscribed. It's free. Just click subscription and the bell so you can get notified on the new uploads that I do. It's all free, people. And it helps to grow and to have the channel recognized. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care. God bless. And until next time. Bye-bye.